Well, I just found out my friend Mark that uh, the video I did, Songs from Mark, just found out he can have YouTube again, or he does have YouTube again, so time to get him a video out there. on my pear trees uh, I've watched a lot of videos about cutting out stuff that's growing straight up um, and I'll show you <laughs> the difference when you do that um, I was pretty surprised that one right there I thinned out quite a bit this one I took some more out of but I took a lot out of it last year <laughs> And this year, it has got blooms all over it. Uh, and this one, I did not do. If I did, I did very little. And it's got the least amount of blooms. It um, also has larger limbs than my hand pruners are going to take. So I got to go up to to get my saw come back and finish pruning on this really cloudy overcast day it's actually quite comfortable um, show you a couple of other things real quick let me turn around here this is elderberry that I took cuttings from um, this was off the side of the road probably 20 miles from here and I've got others that uh, are coming along good as well. Got to get my wood chip spread out. But I've got a got an elderberry here. It's doing good. I've got another one here. I've got a plum tree here. Um, I didn't think it was going to make it. The uh, the other one we had didn't. But I've got another elderberry and another elderberry. And I've got about a dozen down there. And I have another one right over here by the pond. So I'm really happy to see how they're doing. Um, let's walk over here to the beehives real quick. I did not think that this hive was going to uh, end up very well. During a winter storm, it blew the whole top off and rained in there really hard. And I thought for sure I'd lost them. And they're doing great. And this one as well. Anyhow, I'm going to get my saw and come back and thin that other tree out some more. I did see uh, a girl talking about pruning and time of year to do it. And she said, wait till you start seeing blooms. Go in and cut out the uprights that don't have any blooms. So the trees can uh, concentrate or send more uh growth to the to the blooms and the fruit 
and we'll see how that does. This little greenhouse that I bought Kim for Christmas a couple of years ago that's supposed to withstand 110 mile an hour winds. Well, it doesn't. So I'm gonna build her a greenhouse. I'll use some of those panels. It's probably the same storm that blew the top off of the beehive down there. I need to probably start strapping them in the winter time especially. This is a really, really nice pruning saw. Very sharp, uh, just a really good saw all around. days later it's uh, pretty chilly out here got a fire going um, this area right here uh, we hope to build a new greenhouse anyhow I've got a bunch of doors that work sliding glass doors and have an idea what I do want to do with those being up here on a hill, we get so much wind um, that where the house is, I want to kind of use it as a wind block because most of the wind comes from that direction this way. But first things first, and that's burning up all of our little burn pile here at our, uh, just our little campfire area. And uh, shoot the grade, see what I need to do here so I can start planning out foundation and how I'm gonna tie the building down. Uh, so I intend to bring you all along on that build. But right now, it's a nice morning to have a fire out here. Get rid of a bunch of scrap wood, which I always have from the sawmill. With that being said, yeah, maybe I'll take you back and show you in a little bit. Um, I put a little nuke out. It's a very typical time of year for bees to start swarming. I've got one hive, it's pretty good size and I expect that. So I've got a box set up with uh, some lemongrass oil on a piece of cotton inside the nuke. And uh, I'll show you where I've got that set up. It's a nice day, but still pretty cool out. And here's what I've got my nuke box at down here on the, the little deck above the pond. Um, I don't really expect to see anything as, as breezy as it is and uh, still as cool as it is. But anyhow, I've got that set up. I might set another one out at, up at work. Uh, I've got a good spot there where I've caught swarms before. Back right now to get some things organized outside the, the barn up here and uh, started bringing those doors home I talked about for the greenhouse still got five more to get home these things they are heavy uh, so I gotta build a strong structure just to handle them so I'm gonna get out of here thanks for your time I appreciate it Go at life with the attitude of I can't wait to see what I'm going to learn next. See ya.